This is High Stakes. Welcome to High Stakes, TV's only inter-college test of knowledge. This is the show where big risks mean big rewards. It's the ultimate test of knowledge, quick thinking, strategy and risk taking. Can our contestants cope under the pressure inside the challenge zone? Well, let's find out and meet the teams. This week we have teams from the Isle of Wight College. Please introduce yourselves. I'm Kyle. Hey, I'm Claudio. Hello, my name is Rax. And I'm Jordan, the team captain. Splendid. Talia, I understand you're a bit of a risk taker, is this true? I'm a massive risk taker, which is why I'm not team captain. <laughs> okay, splendid stuff. <laughs> and facing them today, we have Fairham College. Who's on your team today, please? Hi, I'm Alex and I'm team captain. Hi, I'm Luke. I'm Meg. I'm Harry. How do you do? Brilliant. So, team captain, do you have confidence in your team today? Yeah, let's go with <laughs> I hope so, yeah, <laughs> brilliant. Good answer. Well, let's uh, welcome both our teams. Let's start the show. Before we start, you'll need some points to wager with. So let's begin with round one. To earn these points, the teams will have 20 seconds to answer as many quick fire questions as they can. Each correct answer will win your team five points. Isle of Wight, you'll be starting first. You have 20 seconds to name as many US states as you can. Your time starts now. Um, New York, New York, Florida. Hawaii, Alaska, Alaska Texas, Iowa, Idaho, Idaho, Minnesota, Minnesota. Seattle. Yeah. Se that, Seattle, Washington, Washington, um, Texas. Te we've, we we've done that one. Arizona, Arizona, uh, Milwaukee. Uh, Milwaukee. Remarkable. Time's up. <laughs> well, very, very well done. Superb. Okay, Ferrum, Moving on to you. You have 20 seconds to name as many African countries as you can. Your time starts now. Uh, Nigeria. Gambia. Cameroon. Kenya. Egypt. Ethiopia. Tunisia. Madagascar. Ivory Coast. The, we said Egypt. It's Egypt. Cape, is Cape Town a country? Uh, Cape Town. No. South Africa. Uh, uh, Morocco. <laughs> Zim <laughs> Zimbabwe. Excellent. Time's up. Very, very well done. Well done, teams. At the end of the quickfire round, Isle of Wight College, you have scored... A massive 50 points. That's remarkable. Very well done. Maximum number of 10 there. So that translates into five points per, se, uh, per, per answer. Very well done. OK, and Ferrum, you also have scored 50 points. These are good stakes to start off with. Now you have some seconds on the clock. It's time for our first head-to-head -head round. At the start of each round, I'll tell the teams of the upcoming category, allowing them to select their best player for the round. However... Your team captains are not allowed to be selected for the head-to-heads. As the selected players to the challenge zone, it will as the selected players head to the challenge zone, I will reveal the subcategory, allowing the rest of our teams to judge their players' chances and stake appropriately. The two selected contestants will have 60 seconds inside the challenge zone, with the winners doubling their stake, while, lose, while the losing team will leave empty-handed. OK, teams, without further ado, let's play high stakes. Let's find out the subject for round two, and it is science. Teams, you both have 10 seconds to decide who has the best knowledge of science to play this round. Your time starts now. OK, time's up. <laughs> Ferrum, who have you elected um, to play? I'm going to play this round. OK, Max, you're going to play yeah. this one. If I can ask you to step outside for now, thank you. And Ferrum, who have you elected to play this round? Me, Luke. OK, Luke, you're going to play this round. If I can ask you to leave the studio for the time being. Okay, brilliant. Are you confident that your players are going to do well? Yes. <laughs> Just yes. Some vague <laughs> nodding. Right, I like it. Good. So, teams, to help you, I can reveal that all the questions in this round are about animals. In this round, you can stake up to 20 of your points. And remember, the more points you wager, the bigger the reward. You have 15 seconds to decide your stake, starting now. Uh, 
And time is up. Well, we'll reveal how many points both teams staked at the end of the round. Isle of Wight College, you're going first in this round, so let's bring back Max. OK, Max, I can tell you now your subcategory is animals. You have 60 seconds to answer as many questions as you can. Your time starts now. How many teats does a cow normally have? Four. Correct. The wild dog, the dingo, comes from which country? Australia. Correct. A jenny is a female what? Pass. Donkey. Name one creature that provides a mole with its main source of food. Uh, one. Correct. Border, Lester and Corrie Dale are all breeds of what? Dog. Uh, collie. Yeah. It's incorrect. It's a sheep. Which bird is often described as being a thief and is thought by some people to bring bad luck? Magpie. Correct. What is one of the other names for the mountain lion? Uh, jaguar. Puma, cougar or panther. What is the collective name for a group of frogs? Uh, spawn. It's an army. Yeah. Which insects communicate to each other by dancing? Uh, pass. Bees. What is the name given to a baby kangaroo? Um, one okay, your yeah, time is thanks. up. Very, very well done. Cheers. Please do leave the challenge zone. OK, so let's bring back Luke. Category is animals. You have one minute and your time starts now. In Britain, which is the only venomous snake? Cobra. It's the adder. What is a fox's home called? Burrow. A den or halt. <sighs> which Fox. animal can run at 70 miles an hour? Cheetah. It is indeed. Budgerigars are what type of animals? Birds. Very good. What breed of cat has no tail? I don't know. Pass. A Manx cat. How many legs does a spider have? Eight. Indeed. Which living bird has the broadest wingspan? Uh, pass. The albatross. What animal carries their young in a pouch? Kangaroo. Very good. What colour are the spots on a common ladybird? Black. Absolutely. What type of creature is a mandrill? Pass. It's a monkey. Which bird is the international symbol of happiness? Dove. It's the bluebird. What is a young penguin called? <laughs> Time is oh. up. Very well done, Luke. Please rejoin your teammates. <laughs> so, the results from the challenge zone are in. And Max, you scored four points. Whilst Luke, you scored five points. So, how much confidence, teams, did you have in your players? And Isle of Wight, you staked 20 points. And Fairham, you also staked 20 points. So that means, Fairham, you are the winning team there, and you've doubled your stake of 20 points. Unfortunately, Isle of Wight, you lose yours. So at the end of that round, Isle of Wight College now have 30 points. And Fairham, you have 70 points. Very well done. Let's go straight on into round two. So, let's go straight into round three. Let's have a look at the subject for round three, and it's sports. You have ten seconds to decide which one of you is going to play this round. Your time starts now. <laughs> it's rubbing of hands. Time's up, teams. Isle of Wight, who's going to play for you today? I am. That Wonderful. Soon. Thank you, Carl. And Fairham. OK, Harry, if I can ask you both to step outside. Splendid, thank you. OK, so once again, you're betting on how much confidence you have in your players' knowledge. I can reveal that the subcategory in this round is the Olympics. This time, you can wager up to 30 of your points. We'll give you time to lock in your stakes in a moment. Remember, the higher the stakes, the greater the reward. Your 15 seconds starts now.
OK, time is up. We'll reveal your stakes at the end of the round. Isle of Wight College are going first, so can we please welcome back Kyle. OK, Kyle, the subcategory is the Olympics. You have yeah. 60 seconds on the clock, and your time starts now. In which country was Mo Farah born? Uh, Great Britain. Somalia. Oh. Name one of the two events in which Usain Bolt currently holds individual world records. Uh, 75 metre sprint. Incorrect. 100 or 200 oh, metres. Where was the 2004 Summer Olympics held? Pass. Athens. Which former British runner is currently chairman of the British Olympic Association? Uh, Lord Coe. Sebastian Coe is correct. How many rings are there in the Olympic Five. logo? Five is true. Name one of the three typical activities in the triathlon. Uh, swimming. Swimming is correct. Where does the Kirin event originate? Oh, Kirin, that is cycling. It's Japan. Oh, no. Which Jamaican sprinter is nicknamed <laughs> the Beast? Ah, uh, Tyson Fury. It's Johan Blake. Oh. In which country did the Olympic Games originate? Athens, surely. Or Greece? Greece is correct. That's it, yeah. In 20. Oh, great, that's time. Very well done, Carl. Please rejoin your teammates. Okay, so it's time to bring back Harry, please. Woo! Now that you have one minute on the Olympics, and your time starts now. Which Australian swimmer has the nickname Thorpedo? Pass. Ian Thorpe. Which former British athlete won 11 golds at the Paralympic Games before retiring and becoming a member of the House of Lords? Chris Hoy. It's Tanny Gray Thompson. Which athlete has won the most medals of all time? Pass. Michael Phelps. Where was the year 2000 Summer Olympics held? France, Paris, Sydney. In which year were the first modern Summer Olympics held? Pass. 1896. What do the initials IOC stand for? International Olympic Committee. Very good. What relay takes place before the Games but finishes in the opening ceremony? Torch relay. It is. Who is the most successful sailor in Olympic history? Pass. Ben Ainsley. Where were the first Winter Games held? Poland. It was France. What country tops the all time? <laughs> that's time. Very well done, Harry. Please rejoin your team. OK, so the scores are in. And Kyle, you scored four points. Very well done. And Harry, you scored two. Your teams staked 20 points in you. And 20 points also from Fairham. So. The winning team this time were Isle of Wight. Very well done. You double your scores. Unfortunately, Fairham, you lose yours. So the scores at the end of that round, the points are 50 to Isle of Wight, and Fairham also have 50 points. Let's go into the third and final head-to-head -head round. Round four. The subject for round four is music. As this is the final head-to-head -head round, only one player from each team is left to enter the challenge zone. So both remaining contestants, can you please leave the studio now? Well, here we go. Pressure's on. So how much are you going to stake? This round consists of questions with the subcategory, the noughties. For this, you'll be able to stake up to 40 of your points. But remember, high stakes equals high rewards. Your time, your 15 seconds, starts now. And that's time's up, I'm afraid. So, we'll find out your stakes later, but first, let's bring back Tali. Subcategory is the noughties. You have 60 seconds and your time starts now. To which famous girl band did Cheryl Cole belong? Spice Girls. 
It was girls allowed. In 2006, the Scissor Sisters didn't feel like what? Dancing. Very good. Which song featured the lyrics, light up, light up, as if you have a choice? Snow Patrol? It Chasing was Snow cars. Patrol, but I need the name of the song, please. Uh, cars? It was Run. Who had a hit with Beat Again? JLS. It was. Busted's fourth UK number one single in 2004 was associated with which animated series? Simpsons? It was Thunderbirds. American Boy was a big 2008 hit for Kanye West and which other Estelle. artist? It was Estelle. Which 60s pop star reinvented himself with Is This The Way To Amarillo? Mm, pass. It was Tony Christie. Who had a hit with Mercy? What was the name of the animated band fronted by Great That's Time? Very well done. Please rejoin your team. OK, and let's welcome back Megan, please. OK, Megan, your subcategory is the noughties. You have 60 seconds and your time starts now. What colour flag gave Dido a UK top ten hit in 2002? White. It was. What is the name of the singer who had a hit with Poker Face? Lady Gaga. It was. According to the 2006 Katie Melua song, how many bicycles are there Nine in Nine million. There are. Which Russian duo sparked controversy in 2002 with all the things she said? Tattoo. It was. For how many weeks was Rihanna's umbrella at number one in the UK? Eight. It was ten. Who had a hit in 2010 with Haven't Met You Yet? Michael Bublé. It was Michael Bublé. <laughs> The Emancipation of Mimi was the 2005 album from which American vocalist? Don't have a clue. It was Mariah Pass. Carey. Which female artist sold the most albums worldwide in the year 2009? Lady Gaga. It was Suzanne Boyle. <laughs> Who had a hit with I Predict a Riot? Kaiser Chiefs. It was the Kaiser Chiefs. Very well done. Your time is up. Please rejoin your team. Thank you. <laughs> So, the scores are in, and Tali, you answered four correctly. And Megan, you answered six correctly. Very well done. So, after the third round, let's see what points the teams have staked. We've got 15 points staked by the Isle of Wight, and 20 points staked by Fairham. So, that means, Fairham, you have doubled your stake. I'm sorry, Isle of Wight, you've lost yours. The points at the end of round three stand at... 35 points for the Isle of Wight and a massive 70 points for Fairham College. With that result, yes, give them a round of applause. <laughs> With that result, let's play the final round of high stakes. Before we enter into the final round, we need to calculate how much time you have in the challenge zone. So let's convert those points you've earned into seconds. So Isle of Wight College, you've got 35 points, which gives you 35 seconds. And Fairham, your score of 70 gives you a whopping 70 seconds in the challenge zone. OK, so our team captains now have a crucial and possibly ruthless decision to make, with the option to sell members of your team for vital seconds in the challenge zone. This means you'll have more time, but less brain power. To help the captains, each member has been given a price based on their performance so far. These prices are as follows. Kyle, you're worth 15 points. Tally, you're worth 15 points. And Max, you're also worth 15 points. Very well done. OK, conversely, for Ferrum, Luke, you're worth 15. Megan, you're worth 20. And Harry, you're worth 10. So you'll have 15 seconds to decide if you will sell any of your team for extra time. And your 15 seconds starts now. OK, so time's up. Isle of Wight, who have you decided to sell? Have you decided to sell anyone? Yeah. I'm selling Tale 
uh, and Kyle. You're selling Tarly <laughs> and Kyle. <laughs> Very well done. Brutal. Okay, and Ferrum, have you have you chosen anyone to sell? We're selling nobody. You're selling nobody, you're keeping the whole team mm -hmm. together. Very brave. Okay, so here we are at the final. Well done to the team members who made it this far. The final round is a test of all your general knowledge combined. The team with the highest score will go first, which is Ferrum. Okay, so could you please head to the challenge zone? Okay, Ferrum, you've earned a total of 70 seconds. So let's bring you through to the challenge zone for the last time. Ferrum, you've got 70 seconds on general knowledge and your time starts now. Michael, Franklin and Trevor are protagonists of which best-selling game? Grand Theft Auto V. It is. Which brand of toilet paper has a puppy as its mascot? Andrax. It is. Which character was originally called Mortimer Mouse? Mickey Mouse. Indeed. Who played the title role in the 2004 film Van Helsing? Hugh Jackman. It was. <laughs> the Axis of Evil are three countries in World War II. Germany, Japan and who else? <laughs> I want to say uh, uh, Russia. No, Russia. Russia. It wasn't Russia, it was Italy. Thank you. Neptune, Jupiter, Saturn, and which other planet have rings around them? Uranus. It is indeed. <laughs> Led to sniggering, it had to. Who is the Mongolian leader that is said to have created the largest empire in history after conquering most of Eurasia? Genghis Khan. It was Genghis Khan. Who regularly hosts Match of the Day 2 for 2013? I'm afraid your time is up. Very well done, Ferrum. Please do make your way back to your seats. OK, so it's time to bring back half of the Isle of Wight. Okay, so guys, you've got 65 seconds to answer as many general knowledge questions as you can. Your time starts now. Name Popeye's wife. Uh, Olivia. It's olive oil. <laughs> Let's try. HTML stands for what? Hi hypertext markup language. Very good. Which publisher of children's books is named after an insect? Ladybird. Very good. Which former Prime Minister died on the 8th of April 2013, age 87? Margaret Thatcher. It was Margaret Thatcher. Who wrote the 1818 novel Frankenstein? Bram, Bram Staker. It was Mary Shelley. The English resort of Blackpool lies on which body of water? I Irish Sea. It is the Irish Sea. The badge logo of which car manufacturer is a circle with a three-pointed star in the centre? Mercedes. Very good. What is the name of the dragon in the 1937 novel, The Hobbit? Pass. It's yeah. Smog. What colour are the ladies in the 1978 film, Grease? Pink. They are pink. Fish use their gills to extract what from the water around them? Oxygen. It is oxygen. That's time. Very well done. Isle of Wight, please do rejoin your teammates. OK, teams, you've been tested on your knowledge, quick thinking, strategy and risk taking. And it's now time to reveal today's winners. Ooh, the tension. OK, so I can now reveal the winning team today is... The Isle of Wight. Very well done. Hard luck. You've secured your place in the semi-finals and are on your way to being high-stakes champions. Very well done. Bad luck, Ferrum. You're pipped at the post right at the very end there. But terrifically well played. So congratulations to them and commiserations to Ferrum. Thank you both for participating. And uh, thank you also to our brilliant studio audience. Very well done, guys. Thank you for watching. This has been High Stakes.